do you get your admittedly unconventional investing ideas? Well, I, I don't have really unconventional investing ideas, as I say that in the book. There. It's an, an unconventional approach, really, more than anything else, because I think of small business as being a creative process as opposed to an administrative one. It's an entrepreneurial process, and you've got to think out of the box. Uh, I think uh, small businessmen have to know a lot about a lot of things and not just be locked into one thing. You've done very well investing in small banks. Why is now a good time to invest in small banks around the country? Well, because the banking system has gone through a crisis, and uh, I think we're at the bottom of the cycle, if you will. And uh, I, I'm not, that's not true of big banks, large banks, but in small banks, the, there's a, their portfolios are going to be cleaner. If you started today, you'd have a, a real good shot. You've also done very well investing in Chinese reverse mergers. Now, they haven't been doing as well over the last year. They've kind of come under a lot of scrutiny. What's your view right now? Uh, I would be wary <laughs> because I think until they, until those Chinese companies get um, uh, sufficiently sophisticated about their accounting principles and get reliable, you know, big four firms, it's going to be difficult for them for a while. Now you've had tremendous success in your real estate ventures, and a lot of people say it's location, location, location. But you also do extra homework with regard to government regulation. Can you expand on that? Well, I, if you don't do that, you're dead. I mean, it takes you so long to get a building permit these days, you know, and you go through, as I said earlier, once in California, I had 27 different regulatory agents. That's impossible because they beat it different times. Everybody's a, you go before one, you present your plans and specs, and then that goes on forever, and then they say, well, you'll have to come back in 30 days, and they do it sequentially. It's not done simultaneously. So you can be there. It took me eight years to get uh, entitlements in a shopping center I wanted to do because of that. It's crazy. You also look for turnarounds. Now, one turnaround you did, which is very high profile, is Kleinfeld's. It's a long-running business in New York with tremendous goodwill. How'd you turn that one around? With difficulty. <laughs> um, I, I, it was a great brand. Uh, we bought it. It was a distressed property. I'm, I'm, I'm a a thief at heart in the sense that I want to buy something. I have a friend, Herb Siegel, uh, who, whose father used to say, well bought is half sold. And I think that's true. So we bought it right. And uh, the turnaround took a lot longer. It was a question of our reconnecting the brand with the consumer, with the customer. We don't really sell dresses. We sell an experience. We sell uh, uh, the, the whole concept of what we do is what sells the dress. Let's stay in New York. You've also successfully invested in Broadway shows. Yes. That is fascinating because not a lot of people invest in Broadway shows and actually make money. They do it for the vanity, they do it for the experience, but it's usually a money loser. How did you make money? Well, we had a horse, and that horse was called, named Neil Simon, and we rode that horse. Neil has always been very successful, as you know, as a playwright, and uh, he's rewritten a lot of things, you know, several times. And uh, when I say rewritten, rewritten it in the different formats and stuff like that. And Neil has been very, so, so backing Neil gives you probably about a 75% chance of making money. So it's, it's a different concept than just going and speculating in Broadway plays. Now finally, you've invested in things from the Oakland A's to a barge business. Are you a barge business guy or are you a high profile <laughs> baseball guy? Which one are you? I don't think I'm either one. I think I'm interested in making a buck. And if it's going to make money, then I'm interested. I don't care whether it's baseball or buildings or, you know, cameras or, you know, dot coms or whatever it is. If it's going to make a buck, I'm, I, that's what interests me. Wayne Rogers, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Greg. Appreciate it.